for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of uh, g plus 6 story uh, single column and building structure by using etap software so in my previous videos and in my uh, previous sessions i was explain some of the concepts related to the floating column and building structure so in this video i will cover you the single column and building structure analysis and designing by using etap software so i was already done the modeling process for the respected floating column and building by using etap software so this is the building model so which is consisting of g plus 6 story building model which is of 8 stories so initially i will show you the properties go to define option material property for this building structure i was taken m30 gradal concrete provision and hysd bar of 500 grade steel provision again in the same process i was taken the beam section which is consisting of approximately 0.69 ka 0.46 dimensions and column size is 0.46 ka 0.46 value again for the single column one, i was taken the dimensions is approximately 3000 mm ka 3000 mm which is nothing but 3 meter ka 3 meter dimensions and i was taken the dimensions of the slab is approx uh, approximately 150 mm so after applying the load cases which is related to the gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition systems we need to do the analysis process so for that just i am selecting the analyze option here and click on set load cases to run option click on the run now option so it will do the analysis process for this respected building structure with the considerations of the uh, different types of the load cases and properties now you can see here this is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the dead load so in order to see that uh, shear force diagram click on the display option forces select the spear spandrel of force select the load case click on shear to two option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the respected consideration again in the same process you can click on the moment 3 3 option click on apply <laughs> so that it will display the bending moment diagram for this respected consideration so after displaying the bending moment diagram shear force diagram for the respected building structure so we need to design the structure before that i will show you the isometric view which is related to the 3d rendering view for the respected building structure of single column and building so for that just i am selecting this click on the 3d view option now we can see it will display the 3d view for this building click on the right mark here click on extrude frames option extrude shells option click on apply option so that it will display the 3d isometric view for the respected building consideration okay now i will rotate the model click on this 3d rotate option so now we can see this is the single column and building structure it will be consisting of only the uh, one column and section at the ground story okay which is of approximately the dimensions is uh, 3000 which is nothing but 3 meter cross 3 meter dimensions okay this is the uh, 3d isometric view for this respective structure now we have to design the building structure so for that firstly i am unlocking the model click on okay option so now we have to add the uh, grid section for the respective consideration so for simple understanding just i am adding only the two types of the grid section which is comes under the story 8 as well as the story number 2 for that go to click on the edit option add edit grid strips option so click on the strips option here select the eighth story which is x direction with the layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the strip which is related to the grid direction x in the same process i am selecting the direction which is comes under the y condition system which is related to the strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip layer which is related to the y direction with the b name okay again in the same process we have to select the story number 2 option so here i am selecting the direction is x which is of a direction click on apply option so that it will apply the grid section direction which is related to the x direction for the story 2 in the same process we have to apply the direction which is comes under the y direction which is of grid grid layer is b click on apply option so that it will display the a uh, grid layer which is of y direction condition with the strip is b option okay click on okay again we have to do the analysis process for this respected building consideration for that go to click on the analyze option here on the top now you can see it was done with analysis process with the considerations of the grid layers so now we can see this is the deflection diagram for the building structure due to the presence of the a uh, single uh, column and structure in order if you apply the dead loading condition the building will be displayed here deflection diagram here like this now we have to design this building go to click on the design option concrete frame design click on the view revised preferences for designing of the beam so initially we need to select this particular code from the list just i am selecting is456 code click on okay 
again in the same process we have to select the design option concrete frame design click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column sections under consideration okay so after designing process is completed if the beam or column is passing then it will show you the pink color mark otherwise it will show you the red color mark the red color mark is nothing but the beams are failing due to the presence of the higher amount of the loading distribution value or higher amount of the reinforcement value for the particular member okay in order to design that particular member to the better reinforcement design is as we need to increase the dimensions of the beam or column okay so this is the key point we need you need to remember while designing the any kind of the structure now we can see it was done with designing process so it is showing the some red color members which is nothing but the beams and some of the uh, members are failing for the respected consideration okay so the pink color mark indicates the columns and beam sections are passing for the respected design section so now i will show you the reinforcement design results which is comes under the uh, beam sections column sections as well as the slab section in the csi detailing version so before that we need to design the slab click on this option select the preferences select is 456 2000 click on okay option just i am selecting this particular story numbers so select the eighth story as well as the second story click on okay again i am selecting slab design click on the start designing check so that it will start designing check for the respected uh, uh, slab section under considerations of the second floor as well as the eighth floor now we can see here it was done with all designing section of the uh, top and bottom reinforcement intensity for the respective strip condition now we have to close uh, say this particular model whatever the model that we are done here so now we have to close the etap software so in order to see the reinforcement details for the respective beam sections column sections as well as the slab section we need to import the model to csi detailing just i am opening my csi detailing version software click on a file option new detailing option select this desktop option single column one building just i am selecting single so initially the model will be open in etap software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software now you can see the model is opening in my etap software initially now you can see all the data is imported here you need to click on okay option due to the failing of that particular member the message is showing here like this so click on the detailing units select the as per si system and select the load will be in kilo newton and select the weight will be in ton option so we have to click on the ok option select the preferences select as per is 456-2000 codal provision click on ok select the rebar rules option here this time selecting the minimum spacing for the respected consideration is uh, for 150 for the beam sections again slab section and maximum is uh, 450 again for the beams just i am selecting this particular value of the zone one is 150 this is also 150 this is also 150 in the same process just i am taking this particular value will be a 450 value 450 value again this is a 450 value just i am selecting the column here again again i am selecting this value will be of 150 value again i am selecting this particular value will be of 450 value here click on ok option then after that directly click on the ok option here so that it will start designing your respected beam sections column sections slab sections according to your considerations of the building structure now we can see it is checking for the number of the stories option here so now we can see it is checking for the beam section now we can see it is done with the designing section so the left hand side section will be consisting of complete detailing this is the floor flaming plan this is the rebar plan for the respected uh, story number 18 8 uh, for the respected consideration now i will show you the rebar cage option directly click on the rebar cage option it will take some time for loading the top rebars as well as the bottom rebars depends upon your uh, number of the bars that is required for the construction of this particular single uh, column and building structure now you can see it was loaded with all the reinforcement de design results now you can see it is showing the all the only the corner reinforcement design results for the respected consideration again in the same process you can click on the beam detailing uh, concrete beams select any one of the story so here i am selecting 8cb1 click on the a section so now we can see this is the a section beam results this is a b section beam results this is a c section beam results this is a d section beam results this is a e section this is a f g again i am selecting rebar cage view option for the particular beam section now we can see this is the complete cage view for the respected consideration again in the same process i am selecting the column designing results option elevation section select any one of the column here this time selecting this particular column now we can see this this time selecting here again in the same process it will be consisting of one more column section this is the column re design results again it will be consisting of one more column section here like this okay so this is the complete process of a uh, single column and building but here now we can see 
the single column one is completely failing for the respected consideration depends upon the loading condition distribution that's why the results are not showing here in order to uh, design the perfect design results you need to increase the single column one structure dimensions to uh, from 3 meter to 4 meter and you can try with designing results so if the loading distribution value will be in within the limit then it will be directly show you the reinforcement design results for the particular column section okay so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you